Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video on YouTube. Um, this is going to be my family's channel. Um, right now, I'm going to be doing what's in my baby bag because everyone loves kids and I'll just start it off that way. You'll be introduced to the rest of my kids later on um, and my wife, you'll be introduced to her too. I have four kids, um, one on the way. As you can see, I'm 36 weeks pregnant. Um, I'll be 37 weeks tomorrow, and the baby will be full term. I have a scheduled C-section for October 24th. Exciting. Two more weeks. Um, baby will be here, and it'll be even more chaotic, but I'm excited at the same time. My original due date was Halloween, but at least he gets to be here and be all dressed up like a pumpkin. So... Yeah, we could jump right into this video. I'll probably be making another video to introduce to you like everybody else. Also, it's going to be followed up by a birth video so you get to see the little munchkin as well. Um, we'll jump right in. So, this is my baby bag. Also, if I haven't mentioned to you, I'll be doing what's in my hospital bag as well. Um, usually in a C-section, they allow you five days to stay in the hospital. I only stay about two, being that I'm going to get him circumcised because I don't really like to stay in hospitals. Um, but back to the baby bag. This is a Carter's bag. It's pretty standard. Um, I like backpacks, so this one is just doable for now, and it fits inside of our suitcase, so we don't have a bunch of bags that we're, like, toting around the hospital. So the first thing's first. We got him a Wubba Nubba. Um, hospital provides you with one of these, just this piece, but I just think this is so cute. Um, we are obsessed with elephants, and yeah, it's so cute. Next, we'll be doing, I'll be bringing my receiving blankets. Hospital do provide you with receiving blankets for all the new moms that are like, looking at these videos, looking at these channels, trying to figure out, like, what to put in their baby bag and stuff like that. The hospital provides you with a lot of things. Um, me, personally, I like to bring a touch of my own personal items just for, you know, pictures and stuff like that. And these have elephants on it as well. They're just regular size. You can swallow them with it, but it doesn't really work out. These are the bigger ones, the Muslim ones. And these are huge like as you can see and this one is like probably better to swaddle him with um he'll be much more comfortable in that i don't know how to swaddle my wife is great at that type of stuff um this is his blanket more elephants um yeah and i have another one Also, I did put some pampers and wipes in here just for the travel, like back, like from the hospital back home, just in case you have an accident. The hospital do provide you with pampers and wipes, so you do not need to bring that. Um, it's like a little case, three little newborn pampers. Um, also... I, you have to have a bring it home outfit and like sometimes people like to bring like night clothes or something while a baby is staying just so they can have their own little personal touch so I do have a couple outfit changes I'm a little obsessed with stuff like that so here go his little hat and he got little little socks um a little bib. I do like to fully dress them because I just think it's so cute. This is a um, little one, all-in-one sleeper, and it could go into a nightgown as well. Elephants all over it. This is actually from the Gender Reveal Slash Baby Shower, which this that video will probably get uploaded with this video as well. Because I do have it edited and it's ready to go. Um, this is so cute. His little 
so cute. I just love it. It's a little two-piece. That might be a little bit easier for when the nurses are trying to, like, you know, they take him out, assess him, check him out, and stuff like that is easy for them to get through. I have another outfit in here. Another little hat. This one is yellow. Although we know we're having a boy, but I just thought it was so cute. And like, they actually bring like stuff like this, right? It has a zipper. It's easy to get them in, easy to get them out. It's super adorable. So as you can see, I really couldn't make up my mind about exactly what I wanted to be him in. But I'm going to just show you guys all of it. These are his mittens. These are important to bring. It's important to bring mittens because they scratch themselves and, you know, they won't have they won't have any scratches on their face and they won't scratch you. Their nails are pretty long after birth. His little bib. And another onesie with an elephant on it. Like almost all the outfits have elephants. Um let me see. And this is the last one that I have in there. So, even though I mentioned earlier that I might not um, stay in a hospital for the whole five days, they do spit up, they do mess up an outfit. I might want to do an outfit change for a picture. So, usually their picture, they'll have um, a little onesie on or something like that. So, I just brought some options with me totally optional you don't have to do it and i just thought this was the cutest so when he comes home it's gonna be october 20 20 something like close to halloween so it might be cold or breezy outside so i just brought something light just in case like of course i wouldn't need like a whole snowsuit just yet um also this is his going home outfit i have two outfits in here but I'm going to show you the one that he's actually going to go home in. So this. And this. His little jeans, aren't they so cute? It matches his little jean jacket. And he has a little hoodie. Like, I could not get over this. Kohl's is like the best place to shop. They always have three pieces. So you don't have, there's no thinking when it comes to it. Um, also, of course, I put some little shoes in there. <laughs> of course, they're not walking anywhere, but I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And we're going to, like, hop into what's in my hospital bag um, for my C-section. I am having a C-section. Um, I don't know how many of you are how many people know about c-sections but it's a pretty serious surgery and i came out fine for my last four this one they say is high risk so you know we pray everything goes good and we i'm healthy baby's healthy you know so i'll put all this back Put that to the side. So that was my baby bag for baby. And this is what I'm bringing. I'm bringing this boppy. It's a little elephant boppy. It's so cute. It helps out with breastfeeding. Um, I'll probably do, I'll probably breastfeed for like a couple months. But interact with the bottle and breast just because i'll probably be going back to work and stuff like that super cute and it's comfortable to hold the baby too after a c-section so that you're not struggling so this is the suitcase that we're bringing medium sized suitcase um this is what like it's empty now, but it'll have some items in there for like our hair, like a brush and some hairspray or something like that. 
it'll go right into this bag. Then I have some nightgowns. I usually just do nightgowns. Um, after C-section, you're very sore there. So just the all-in-one is great. I have some cute nightgowns. I brought them all from Walmart. Walmart is like the best place to go to get like anything maternity or nightgowns or, you know, it's a one-stop shop. You can get everything. This one is like super cute. Um, I also got my wife's stuff packed in here. I usually pack all her stuff as well because she's all over the place with stuff like that. These are her little nightgowns. I won't show them all to you, but we have one that's exactly the same, which we usually do. Um, then the rest are different. I do pack a robe just in case, like, not the first day after a C-section, but maybe the second day. I'm able to get up and walk around, so I'll just put my robe on and stuff like that. So, this is my wife's robe. We got this robe from Marshalls, another great place to shop. And this is my robe. I have just a typical all black robe. So, I usually just stay and my nightgowns until the hospital stay is over because it's easier that way and then i'll go home outfit we have this all in one um like i said before nothing to be like pressed onto my c-section scars so this just easier for me to um wear and the ride will be bumpy as well and also, she has her all in one too. Hers is in blue. Almost the same as my black one. So. And then, when you go in, they do provide you with underwear. They provide you with pads. I usually do not take any pads with me. And during my hospital stay, I do not use my personal panties. Might be TMI for some of you guys, but somebody who might want to know what to pack. I'm just trying to tell you from experience, because this will be my fifth child, of what to pack. Um, I'm just usually just going to bring like these kind of panties to go home with. Um, but during this day, I'll use whatever they have there, because it's just easier and you won't have all the stuff. You won't have to pack all that stuff in your bag. Now, this is like my little toiletry holder. It's super cool. It matches the suitcase. I got the suitcase and this from Walmart, of course. And in here, the bottom part here has all of my toothbrush, toothpaste, like a travel thing. They will give you that in the hospital, but I just don't like the flavors that they have. They do give you a rag to wash it with, but I use a sponge. So I pack one for myself and my wife. Um, this is our little, how our little travel pack book. Dollar Tree. Gotta go there. Um, yeah. And then I pack some deodorant, personal care stuff that you'll need. And some little travel size soaps. And little travel size lotion. We have sensitive skin, so... Like, if you see a lot of the baby type stuff, it's because it's better on our skin. And some little cocoa butter for my stretch marks. And, yeah, because you do get those ladies. We all going to get some stretch marks, whether you want them or not. And I pack some tissue in because, you know, baby come, you might be a little emotional. Or it could be cold in the hospital, too, because the hospital is freezing. So you might need to blow your nose and stuff like that. So some little puffs from the dollar store. Um, I packed some hand sanitizer. This came from the dollar store. 
anybody who comes visit me, anybody who knows me knows that you have to wear this and a receiving blanket on you in order to hold my baby because I'm a germaphobe. I'm sure a lot of new mothers are. Um, some Carmax. Need this for your lips, ladies. Because it can't get pretty chapped. Um, also, I got some nipple cream it's the first year's natural care nipple butter so this is really really good i usually pack this and i pack some um extra care stuff for my nipples because when you breastfeed it for the first time it like it can be very difficult and i breastfed all the kids but the first time around when the baby is trying to latch on, it can get a little chapped and you just rub this on. Also, um, I don't have nipple pads in here with me, but I'll be bringing some nipple pads because your breast can become leaky and, you know, you don't want that onto your clothes. Also pack some Excedrin because my wife, she gets a headache a lot and maybe it's the lights in the hospital but it's good to pack as well because you might have a headache who knows um i believe that will be oh no i do have some other stuff that's gonna be inside my bag i got some socks it's halloween themed because as you know i'm going in a week before halloween so i love halloween it's one of my favorite holidays um put some little footsies on because it is cold in there and these have the little grips on the bottom you know so you don't slip and fall got some for me and my wife i thought they were so cool i picked them up from target they were like a dollar um that's just sleeping in the bed with or you can walk around with them as well and then i bought slippers like this like in case i want to walk around the hospital or go outside the room some little cute little slippers got them for walmart not pricey at all a two pack about five dollars so you know um really that's all that's inside of my hospital bag and everything that i'm gonna be taking with me um like i said i just have to put like some hair product stuff in there um i don't wash my hair at the hospital i usually like braid it up or maybe have a ponytail or something it really all depends on how i'm feeling that morning when i wake up for the c-section um they usually schedule me at seven in the morning so i'll be going in there pretty early you can't eat before so i'll be hungry as well um that is pretty much everything that will be inside of my hospital bag and it's out of the baby bag um i might bring a blanket i'm not too sure about that yet um it really depends because i had a blanket last year um and i might want a new one this year i really i'm really not too sure about exactly what i want to do when it comes to that just because i don't want to have so much stuff with us it's really hard to focus but i am going to add on some things what else you might want to bring to the hospital you might want to bring some snacks for you and your spouse or your partner because it you do get hungry and the stuff in there is kind of pricey um they do have cafeterias in hospitals you can do that as well but the patient usually eats for free um but snacks are like good for when it's like those late nights and it's like you know in the middle of the night and you just want to grab something real quick it's good to bring a snack and something to drink um my room will probably most likely have a refrigerator like i have done in the past so that's why i bring all that stuff with me as well so i try to pack as light as i can but make sure i have all the essentials that i need um that concludes this video and i really hoped y'all enjoyed this video i really hope that that you guys come back and visit my channel because um after this you'll be seeing the gender reveal that we had a couple months back um i'll add that in there 
also um, I may throw in some pregnancy pictures here and there of, from the beginning of my pregnancy to now because it is pretty late I'm starting my channel late and I am almost 37 weeks pregnant but you guys get to see the you know the best part the baby so that'll be coming up soon and then I do plan on doing a lot of other things on this channel with the kids and my wife um so just stay tuned for that and thanks for watching